Hani on the Viper. Trixie gonna be taking up the Doom, and so it's like an offlane Doom. It will be the the four position Enigma and a farming Wraith King. Well, oh, very interesting. Farming Wraith King is interesting in this game in the sense that Gale shuts down that hero. Frost Armor deals Ten with that hero to a certain remain. extent. I feel like a lot of these heroes are very hard to catch, but Five I mean, when you pick Wraith King, that's kind of the package it comes in, right? He has a stun, but it's not a very, really reliable stun. All right, looks like we have some audio issues here, guys, so we'll, we'll pause. Let's introduce the teams quickly, and uh, we'll run through the lineups now. On the dire side, we've got a red-hot Vici Gaming, 5-1. and one. They've cleaved their way through a, a solid field of opposition. They only dropped a game to Na'Vi, but they've taken on Empire along the way. Also, Titan, Na'Vi US, LGD China, and Mass Sports. And, well, with that being said, we run through the players. The unpause comes. We got FY on the Earthshaker. Super going to be going mid as the Ember Spirit. RTK will be playing that farming Venomancer that puts FY on the. Oh, I already mentioned him on the Earthshaker. Silar the Morphling and Fenrir will be handling your Lich. Yeah, for those guys that are watching the, the banter, Big Daddy is going to be playing in the All Star game, and the coach is ROTK. So Big Daddy's like, man, let's go. <laughs> let's play. Era is going to be handling that Rave King, Big Daddy on the Enigma, Hani on Viper, Trixie on Doom, and. Fly playing that Skyrath Mage. And Two teams are go. uh, gonna clash in the jungle. Who's got a better level one? I would imagine with the Veno Gale. The you favor. have Veno and Earthshaker. Even yeah. though Lich isn't really the best here, I'd be surprised if they don't take this They'll see level. you guys there very soon and they'll back off in a fanatic in a very safe distance. But that means that Vichy Gaming, should they want to drop a couple wards here, they definitely have the opening to do so. Yeah, Fnatic want to play that delicate dance where they they stay in vision in case a ward gets dropped, but they also can't get caught by Fisher. And yeah. As a result, they, they drive them back with two while the ward gets dropped behind, so we'll see if Fnatic are successful in their D wards here. It's One always an interesting game that decides a big part of the game. It really is. It's I would say it decides a huge part of the laning stage in a lot of games, but... Um, yeah, this ward was placed. This is the other common spot that we see to block this camp. Occasionally something more out this way, and uh, well, we'll have to see where the sentry the goes down. Begins. Do they actually have one yet? Not seeing any. Someone probably has gold here. Fly City on 200, and uh, the good news for Enigma is you don't really need those camps. You can honestly get by on these two and still farm very quickly. Also, correct me if I'm wrong here. Fnatic is a team that knocked down Vichy Gaming ESL one in the quarterfinals. So today we're casting nothing but ESL that rematches. That was a two-one. That that was a close series. The yeah. second game, Fnatic took very convincingly, but yeah, Vichy Gaming did take the the set, right? Yep. Uh, no, no, no. Vichy Gaming went home. Oh no, Fnatic took the set here. Yeah, Big Daddy moved on, and they actually did quite okay against, uh, I want to say it was EG. But in any case here, Silar. Well, we'll see if he's doing okay on the mid lane. Viper's a tough one to actually lane against. Yeah, that's a, I, it's, you need the dual lane there. You've got to park the Lich mid if you want to actually run Morphine. Otherwise, he's not going to have fun against the Viper. But it'll be a dual lane from Fnatic as well, at least in the sense that the Enigma comes in, will deny creeps on occasion and potentially go for some harassment. Yeah, in terms of the bottom lane here, it's going to be a Rave King versus, uh, Rave King versus the Ember Spirit. I got to say, the Ember lane's not going to have a good time, considering that Fly being the only range hero here. He is quite squishy though, with kind of a double stack wave. I think if Vichy Gaming finds a good goal on that support, may be able to actually get a kill. Yeah, this is... It's, I feel like Fnatic have a, the better killing potential, especially with the Enigma as a, an option to rotate into the lane. The one lane that Vichy Gaming should excel in is this top lane, where we've yeah. got Doom against Venomancer. Early on, it's going okay. He's actually come with a ton of regen, which to me says that Trixie knew, like, guessed these were the lanes and was correct, because... If you if you don't think it's a Venno, you don't need that much regen. But this is a war of attrition, and he'll need it. Oh, they go for the fissure block. No skills taken by Super yet. But if they actually connect on the right side of that fissure, with uh, searing chains as well as a, a potential flame guard, maybe they get the kill. A little bit of misfire. I'm actually surprised that ROTK didn't put another point into that poison sting. I mean, this matchup's nothing but physical harass, right? I mean, I guess this could be first blood. FY's on the move. He's got a haste. And here we go, straight towards the mid. There's no Radiant Ward, they actually have a ward up on their hill, but here he comes, end of the lane, Fissure to go, and now Hani's caught, and he's block. gonna block him in. Beautiful play from FY. Hani has nowhere to go, corralled and brought down. FY will make it out safely as well. And this all goes back to the warding from Vichy Gaming. They dropped a sentry here just to make sure there's no Radiant Observer Ward, so they know that that pickup is not spotted, and because they also controlled the jungle, they know the ward couldn't be anywhere else like over on that hill. 
and thus as a result, it's a, it's not just a oh a lucky haste turn, but they know that's a kill that they can go for. Yeah, and the fissure block into body block. That was an amazing play, and obviously, almost died here thanks to big daddy rotation. But giving Silo the first blood, I think that's the bigger thing here because the bottle is going to be coming very very soon, and that's going to accelerate whatever else he's going to be going into. Yeah, as you can see, Silar with the broadest shoulders, says k -pop Tosis. He has, he's racked up some numbers on Morphlane, and I don't think that comes as a surprise to anyone. They're gonna go in mid again. There is an Observer Ward, but Hani still gets clipped. This is not the best Fissure, but it's enough. They wave in, one more right click, and Lumi, for the second time today, a Viper mid is getting destroyed. Yeah, I mean, all of these, we see the Viper getting ganked, though. So. This, oh, top lane, RTK, also chasing down Trixie, pops the Scorched Earth. He tried to bait that one, and... Almost succeeded in causing RTK to die. In fact, I think he may have fallen here. The creeps are on the chase. The rotation comes now from the Enigma, who will cut him off. He's got a salve, though. He can salve up and probably live through the Enigma. Indeed, he should. Yeah, he actually not even caught. Outruns the Enigma. Well, that space created for RTK. And Notel's actually spending quite a bit of time bouncing around between lanes. Still, he's level 4 at before, below 4 minutes. I I'm not sure how you feel about the, the Venom skill build. I, I think the fact that if he take the more poison sting, he'll just have. Uh, a much more dominant time, even though he's already quite dominant, but... Yeah, because the wards are going to apply the poison same with every auto attack, and... Doom's not going to be killing your wards, right? He's going to be running from them because they're hitting him like a truck, so... I mean, with I, that I think said, maybe two points in the wards, and then you might go back no, for the he's, stings. he's taking up the wards. With that said, it's, it's probably more of a mid-game build, because with the wards you get siege towers or defend your own towers, so there's that. Uh -oh. And it's not like he needs more help. They actually have no rune vision, and this might cost them again as Trixie's about to be backstep. It's a level 4 Lich that comes here. I don't think Trixie knows. He's got Devour, level 3 Scorched Earth online, but in comes the Vano. He's diving past the creep okay, wave. Trixie gets so nervous. obvious. Really obvious, and they want to go. No, they're not going to go mid lane. Meanwhile, we've got to jump. They will kill off the Morph lane. There's a silence from Fly, and the follow up is there. They actually rotated in 3 for that kill, but. A much needed kill as Silar was getting a bit out of control. Yeah, and ROTK for a second time is running past the creep wave. A little bit of body block on the top lane. The Gale's got a hit. He does not actually have mana for the Gale, so it's going to be a poison sting with the wards. And he just outruns it with the fit. They're going to go for they're a tank. They're tanking it. They're diving it. Yep, they're going to get the kill. Tower is being tanked by Finrar. And. Oh no. <laughs> ROTK. I mean, that's. Please, take the tower, my friend. That's an easier tower. That's an easy tower aggro. It, it was not the best. And now bottom. It's a bloody start to this game. Fly looking for another bolt, but he can't quite find it. He actually is tanking significant tower damage. Every support this game just has a death wish, it feels. And, well, for now, he'll live. Yep. Earthshaker getting in position here. I Wait. see what you mean by FY roaming. He he is non-stop with that. This this way, oh, top lane, there's a dive there as well. The Doom comes out. RTK will pay. Trixie gonna strike back and gets that kill. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> he does move a lot on his Earthshaker. Normally, if it's a more passive and controlled game, he spends more time hanging out near mid, and he'll just keep on pulling and sagging that camp. But we'll hold that thought again. Is Zero? Well, he's caught out on the wrong side of the Fissure. FY failing to connect up properly with that one. As a result, he will make it out. How much do you think? How much do you think it's hurting Fnatic not having Rune Wards? Because I feel like it's incredibly costly and what's worse is they have nobody checking these war these runes i, I think it, it cost them the two kills on the mid lane on viper the top one sure they lost the doom but i actually think that was in their favor but back on the mid lane here honey well never mind here's gonna hole. be big daddy coming in do they have the black hole he doesn't have mana for it Man, even I, with the soul ring used that frost blast really packs a punch yeah <laughs> that sent the enigma with his tail wagging back towards the well. Yeah, Finrar's gonna hit level 6 after one more creep, and that's gonna be pretty dangerous on the mid lane. Like, they, they just need a Fissure and Chain Frost, and they get the kill. I feel like that's one of the most underrated things about Lich, is yeah, he denies creeps and helps you pull your lanes back and, and win, but... His level 6 can completely break a game open, and you rarely expect it, because it's just... It's 7 minutes in, and he's, he's a laning support. Yeah. But, we're gonna have to talk about that another time, because Super's walking directly into 2, and that's trouble. Yeah, he's gonna be dead. FY might be a little bit trouble as well. You can see F Daddy, uh, Big Daddy. Oh, he's got the Flame Guard. He pops it. Okay. The Fissure comes through. He sticks up. He's got a regen rune as well. And he's going back to Void. Turn it around, man. You can turn Super around. can turn this for sure. He's got. Okay. Uh, he's, ga he's gonna let him go. And FY is gonna survive as a result. Asshole. Oh, well. Big Fissure coming in. So, should have been two kills. Didn't that get anything. And that's why you save your stick charges until the killing blow is, is midair, basically. Yeah. But what a patient fissure as well from FY. That, to me, that's like some just cool under fire. A lot of players will just panic and feed there.
Yeah, I do want to point out that exchange up top for Doom, where where the, he he got dove and the tower killed the Lich, and then he killed the Veno afterwards. I'm gonna consider that as a tricksy win because is he is doing just all right on the top lane with level eight now. He's actually matching ROTK's level. We've got a movement on the mid lane now. Three heroes wrapping around, all smoked up and ready to go. They have chain frost, Lumi. This is this is strike while the iron is hot time, and they want this Doom. They know once he has Doom up again, he can go for a Veno kill if he isolates him and, well, don't give him a shot, they say. Let's kill Trixie, then take his tower. With the Gale here, they don't even need to use the Chain Frost. Yep. It'll be an easy kill. And Silo gets yet another last at a thousand gold in his bank right now. Not too many parts, or not any parts of that Lincoln, so we we'll have to kind of hold our breath to see what item he, he's going to go for. Probably a Tretz first, though. A lot of good stats on that item. This is a real concern for Fnatic to me. They are running the Enigma. And they're only trading evenly with towers, and maybe that's the power of the Venom pick more than anything is. You can just make sure that you're trading effectively. They still, well, the tier 1 mid is being Siege. I don't know if they get it here. Chain Frost can come. The Fissure's available, and it's a level 4 wards along with a pretty fast mech. If BG Gaming are out trading Fnatic for towers, then Fnatic is losing this game. I absolutely agree with that, and I, I think that, that goes back to the wards. I, I question why RTK le leveled up, it's more for the mid game, but back on the top, Trixie eats a fissure. They got, well, Chain Frost's gonna fly through as well, but no bounces. The Doom's gonna fly off, and this is gonna be a big Black Hole coming in right there. Easy Black Hole getting into G. Silo's gonna die as a result, and they're gonna get Fenrar as well. These are two highly leveled heroes, and the experience just shot up. And if you look over to Fly, he needs every bit of that experience, just hitting level 5 now. That was a really cocky dive. They're diving a Doom past the tier 2 tower with, I think it was three heroes missing. There were two smoked and, and one that was not currently being seen in the lane. And they pay. And like you said, it's the yo-yo effect. You're that far ahead. Well, the golden experience shoot back up. Suddenly, Fnatic, I wouldn't say on Dyer's top, but top they're definitely uh, having a slight lead here. Yeah, I, I think Vichy gave me still though. They're getting a little bit more because, oh, I say Radiance that, top tower is going to go down. Oh, Every time... Silar, now he's got to hoof it out to a lane. He's still sitting at base though. Uh, and also ROTK might be in a little bit of trouble. He's got a buckler. He's trying to stop this creep wave, but soon he's going to tank the tower under the creep wave with his Hellfire Blast on top. Here comes the TP. ROTK eats a stun. He does have a scale, but he gets silenced immediately. Light, nice shift carry, but what a fissure coming up from FY. That's going to put a stop to it. In fact, if he hits a gale, in fact, he will. ROTK Please, drop an ultimate. Can. Please! He drops the ultimate before dying. Here comes FY. He's going to clean up here. Era, though, he has a second life. They got to run. The big slow is applied. Any TP coming in, there's no TP. There is a rotation coming in from Morphling. No chain for off from Finra. They're gonna go for Big Daddy. Fissure's gonna come through. They get one more kill. FY and Chat Totem's gonna come through as well. They could kill Era a second time. The Fissure is still alive right now. Oh and Era is gonna get brought down. Silar gets the kill. We call Silar the farm lord, but he's joining every single gank, gank and, and tower push for his team. What in the world is going on this game, man? 14 kills in 11 minutes, and it feels like there hasn't been a moment to breathe for either team yet. And now the big items come out. They pick up the mech for the Beno, and now they jump in with a triple remnant of the honey. And inbound could be the Wraith King too once he respawns, but it won't be in time. Burns down to the shield, one more chop, and Super grabs that one as well. This is scary. Vici Gaming getting a mech this fast? He's got it before the freaking Enigma, man. Yeah, that is a really well, really fast. Fight. He was a safe lane in Veno against a uh, Doom, so it's yeah, I gr I know it's just it's it is r fairly rare to see a team with Enigma not get yeah, first. Super is gonna get focused and look at that new coming down. Super well, he will survive just for a little bit longer, going down eventually. I gotta say though, when you have a very chaotic game like this, 16 kills before 12 minutes, you gotta look at who's Guy's getting the better trades after those kills, like objective gaming. I gotta say, I, I feel that Vichy Gaming has the better items after these trades, and it looks like they're Radiant's gonna do a little bit more, a little bit more tower damage. Attack. Tier one on the bottom Dyer's is very low. Tier is one mid attack. is seizeable, I gotta say, but the tier one mid HP for Vichy Gaming not looking too healthy uh, for for their own. It's a very even game in terms of all like the measurable factors, and I think then you have to look towards hero matchups as well as item progression and. I actually like Fnatic Strap quite a bit in the mid game in that regard. The Morphling needs to get a lot of items to deal with being up against Doom, Skyrath, as well as uh, Enigma. And same for the Ember, who... The Ember in particular is very poor. 3,000 net worth. Mid. And we're like, 12 minutes in. Gale's flying out. There's a Fissure coming in as well. Not blocking anything, but... Looks like the mid is going to be a very high point of contention here. Well, super. Potentially being ganked here. Unfortunately, Fly does not have mana for his ultimate, let alone the silence as well. He needs some backup. That looks like he'll TP home. 
What, what would you like to see for both team to be doing? You want to take one and uh, I'll talk about the other? All right. For Vici Gaming, they need to buy a lot more time. Even though they've had a good start, they can use the mech to turn fights, but they need a lot more to actually engage. Like, most fights, if you get doomed or silenced by Skyrath, Ember and or Morphine are dead. The only way that doesn't happen is if he gets Morph off in advance, and there's not a ton of follow-up. So, I think Vici Gaming have to stall this game a lot. And for me, Fnatic should be the ones aggressive. Yeah, and they are being aggressive right now. Here comes the Doom against Fenrir. Fenrir is straight up dead. Let's see if there's going to be any deny coming out. Blink 4 into a Mystic Flare. And if you look at Fnatic, the way they're building their item, especially with Era getting that Blink Dagger first, you're getting aggressive items, so be aggressive. I like the smoke, they got a kill, but also objective is what they need to seek next as well. Mid looks like they're coming in hot. Oh, what a chain coming against Hani, but there is no follow-up. Don't want to dive a Viper under that tier 1. And I, I see what you mean by Vichy not really getting enough items to really win a flat fight right now. And here comes the smoke for Vichy. They want to go to bottom. This is a big fight oh, this here. could be bad timing, though. If they break high ground when Fnatic are waiting up the hill, this could work poorly. Okay. No, they find Big Daddy, and he's about to build a mech. He gets fissured. He can't black hole yet. The remnants come out. FY dunks him, but now Fnatic looks to turn. They bring in the Wraith King. He'll drop quickly. Actually, doesn't have his ultimate for 40 seconds. It's still on cooldown. That fight was ages ago, but it's still on cooldown. Now two caught by the chains, and in comes Silar through the rear, and Fnatic drop four. Yeah, the big difference here is when Vichy wins the game, they, again, or wins a fight, they take an objective. And the bottom tier 1 tower, that's going to go down. And they're the Dire team, so the Roshan's going to come in a little bit later as well. The mech was huge. If you look at ROTK, I wonder if he's going to be going for Aghanim Scepter, or maybe another like Radiant defensive item for the team. Maybe a pipe. Uh, we'll see shortly. It is going to be Aghanim's. Big Daddy trying to force the issue a bit on RTK. He does have Black Hole available. Is he really going to use wow. it just for the Benno? He will. There's a mech ready, but with the Skyrath ult follow-up, is it enough? Brought low. <laughs> Fissure's there again. FY <laughs> may yet save it. One more ult. Can't quite do it. What Still, objective-wise, as you mentioned, Vichy get a tower. Can Fnatic retaliate here mid? Yeah, Earthshaker's gonna try to wear them down a little bit. There's a glyph still available, so I really don't think so. You can see that with the waveform and a fissure. They're absolutely fine defending this tower. It feels like they need Trixie to also have a blink. Just to double blink in with your two tanky carries. Drop a hoof stomp, drop a uh, Hellfire Blast, get a Doom off, and then take a fight like that. Because, I don't know, I, I feel like the fissures are just too much. FY's, it's just... To me, this is the mark of a good Earthshaker, is that he's always just where he needs to be. The hero is very slow, you, and you're not going to get a fast Blink Dagger in most games. Not like a Sand King, so... If, you're at, if your positioning and movement isn't right, you show up too late to turn fights, but... He's been in the right place almost every single engagement, and... Not only that, but... I would say the majority of his fissures have been on the mark. Blocking heroes in on the right side, he sets up the first blood. Uh, it's not a new story for F Vici Gaming, but the real playmaker on this team is FY and to some extent Fenrir as well in support. Yeah, and we haven't seen Super really hit his stride yet on this hero, but I feel like as this game goes on, when he gets more and more items, Super is going to leave a bigger mark uh, in this game as well. Big Daddy finally picks up that mech, but speaking for Big Daddy, he's been having a lot of mana issues. Mech is going to just hurt him a little bit further in that regard. Yeah, his soul ring, but it also means he gets a little bit squishy in these fights. And yeah. To me, he's public enemy number one if Black Hole's online. You got, if you can bring down Enigma before he Black Holes and before he mechs, Fnatic loses about half of their team fight, like a huge chunk of it any, at any rate. And yeah. they do see Super now. He's actually diving. He dooms, but the flame guard's up, and that does block doom damage. It was chains in a recent patch. Now the chain falls coming through, bouncing back and forth, but Hani drags it away. Nice delta split from him, and now they look to go in. There's no black hole, unfortunately, and they chase the ember, but he hasn't died just yet, oh. and now he's going to live through it all. He jumps to the high ground. He can remnant across the ravine if he so chooses, and now goes back in. But he actually, well, doesn't connect on the Siri Chase, does he need it? One more poke from that sword. Does secure the kill, <laughs> then zips down. Super's just toying with Fnatic. Now Silar goes in while Super tries to run. At long last he falls, but FY's here. He cancels the TP of Trixie, and Silar gives chase. They need another Fissure, and they get it too. With RTK in reserve, Era gets kited. He gets brought down as well, and Vici gave me once again 
Just out execute Fnatic and take yet another fight. Yeah, super bought back for this fight. They want Hani as well. The Fissure's cooling down. Couple they can Fissure wave. One they second. can go for this. Here comes the Fissure. It's gonna hit. Waveform's gonna come through. They're gonna get another kill. TPs are coming back because the respawn timers are quite low and they don't have Mystic Flare just yet. Big Daddy looking for the Malefits. He gets it. Midnight Pulse in the ready here. Alamana are ready for Big Daddy. The super comes back in. A lot of silences being dropped on him. And they'll walk it off because Suichi Gaming is about to dive tier 3s. Get the tier 1 mid and back off and spend their gold, man. Spend their gold. Beachy Gaming. This is looking like it might be their sixth win, Lumi. They're starting to pull ahead now. Up 2k gold, running a pretty greedy draft with Ember and Morphling and a ton of late game potential. That being said, though, Fnatic have the lockdown and they have picked up some big items along the way. The Blink Dagger's out on the Doom. They've had one on the Wraith King, which means they can go around potentially killing the Ember and the Morphling. But what's going to make that more difficult? is the Lincoln Sphere. Just picked up now on the morph and you blink in, by the time you can level death to break it, he's already zipped away. Uh, or he's already, I should say, replicated away, not zipped away, before I mean, you can doom him. I mean, that fight where Super got doomed, that he ran up the ramp towards the enemy ancients, just shows so much confidence. He was like, like red health the whole he time. Wanted to, I think he wanted to get doomed because he had Flame Guard on, and it tanks the damage. Like, it, it tanks, uh, uh, if not all of the damage, then the majority of it, if there's no other nukes. Yeah, well... Whatever the case, I think I think Super is making a very strong case for himself as one of the best Ember next to 430 as well. I mean, impressive stuff. Yeah, I, I still have to say 430's done more, but he's also played more Ember games than I've cast, so I might be biased. I mean, if you're second to 430 as Ember player, you're, you're not you're not hurting for it too much. Well, here goes the Rosh attempt. BG Gaming into the pit. Black Hole's up now. That's the other thing for Fnatic. They did not have Black Hole that fight, and the Doom got blown up pretty quickly after he dropped his ult. So... If Fnatic can actually get a good black hole, I think it's going to be a different game, but how do you do that against Vichy? Vlitch can cancel it from range, even after you get black hole with his chain for or BKB with his chain frost, and there's an Earth Shaker as well, who's going to be sitting back. So, a black hole could turn this, but Big Daddy is going to have to play spectacularly to find that open. And don't forget about an adaptive strike, pretty really long range, easy cancel pretty instantaneous as well. And of course, FY's got a blink, so as soon as he hits level 11, he's gonna be a lot more effective with that level two Echo Slam. Obviously with a, you know, Aftershock maxed out, Enchant Totem at level one, he, he's already doing a lot for the team. That just means that his Fissure is gonna just be that much more spectacular. Well, for now, VG Gaming want to farm. They've got the Venomancer working towards an Aghanim Scepter, has three of the components, uh, just needs the one more once he spends his gold. Your Ember probably backs off for Battle Fury up to 1700, and the Morphling of Silar generally goes for Ethereal Blade next. I think we'll see that as well this game. But uh, beyond that, I don't know. Maybe a BKB's picked up along the way. The point, I guess, is VG Gaming are very content to farm for late game right now. They have late game heroes, man. Venno's decent late. I actually think Fnatic's lineup is still really strong late as well. Well, that's assuming they have the same amount of gold, right? Yeah, and it's like, assuming especially the Doom is really fat. You get double Doom and anything is fun. Well, they're gonna make a goal on ROTK, they're spending a Doom, but it's a trap. Like, here comes the rest of Vici Game, and Trixie oh, gets oh, blown oh, up! The biggest slam dunk of what we've seen so far. Era's gonna get chained up. One's gonna stun a super, but FY, look at how fast he's moving thanks to the drum charge. The chain's gonna miss as a result. You can see FY, he's circling around, he's looking for a fissure. It's gonna block Big Daddy. Oh, what a chat told him onto to. Big Daddy's still okay though. The black hole, it's gonna get everybody, but he gets blown as well. The buybacker's coming through. They get Pinra. Era's dropping low as well. Era's recharging. Oh, it's, so he's it's dead too again. much, Lumi. They just can't stand against Fiji. Super comes. In. There's more chains to come in just a second or two, and the chase continues. Another slight. He's actually out of mana for now, but he still catches Trixie. Hani, the lone survivor. Fnatic just got destroyed. The Doom bought back. He died again, and. Dyer's middle oh, that was just attack. brutal. Fichi Gaming knew it was coming. They wanted Fnatic to jump them, and Fnatic thought they had a free kill, but. They did not. That was such a good bait. Dyer's I mean, that was FY God, attack. right? First of all, Echo Radiant's Slam on the two heroes, and attack. he just moves around the team fight, not looking for just a random fissure, but a fissure Dyer's and a block. Just, just too denied. good. Too good. This game was already very hard for Fnatic, and it just got a lot harder on the back of that fight. I mean, gold graph dips to about 4,000 gold, and I think more importantly is the items that VG Gaming is going to pick up very soon. Axe Scepter almost up on Venomancer. What has Lich got? Why isn't Lich like building 
you know, a rapier at this point because <laughs> he, he's just so farmed. Greer <laughs> is I, sitting. Well, he's. It's 1400 Three, gold. four, and seven. Let's yeah. see. Is there anything on the courier? No. I'm surprised. I guess the main thing is he's level 11 already. Yeah. So he's got so, that going for him. So is FY. FY working on that four staff. By the way, FY is just an unbelievable player. That was. Every. It, this has been. Every fissure's been perfect, really, and the echo slams are timed when they're most disruptive to Fnatic. Like, right when the fight in the jungle, when no was about to turn it with a black hole, yep. echo slam kills him. This fight during the chase, the enchant totem secures another kill. On the fight earlier near the ancients, the enchant totem's a doom who's scorched earth or running away, just barely clipping him before he can get out of range, and then finishes him off with a fissure. I feel like he's got extra nukes compared to most Earth Shaker players. He's making them count so much. Super dropping a chain. Looks like he's he needs to time his chain combo. Missing a couple of this game so far, but yeah, right now he's just harassing up the high ground, breaking this tier two fairly easily. Avicii Gaming now pounding on the front door. They might get the revenge here on Fnatic. Took them down at ESL, but now struggling. So hang on in this game. And a loss here for Fnatic Radiant's after, a, I believe, a 2-0 start, or maybe it was 3-0, would put them with a negative score, a 3-4, uh, heading into the next the next game, which is not where Fnatic wants to be. Oh, they, they're already 3-4. Oh, 3-5, you're right. So they're not looking good. And I think that's the point where you actually dip, if if, if the tournament ends today, out of the top 10. Yes. He, oh, they are FY, he went <laughs> right as I'm praising him. Classic commentator's curse. Goes for the blink echo, but completely whiffs it as Trixie was one step ahead of him and blinks out into the trees in time. Hey man, it's all right. I'm, I see. I'm secretly trying to help Fnatic here by putting the by putting the hex Vici on, gaming. Putting the hex on Vici. I see. Nah. I'm just a fan of good Dota. I I I do appreciate the 24 minute Lich Midas. That's that's exactly what I'll do. It's like, hey man, you're already ahead. You don't need any items. Let's just get a Midas. Yeah, I agree. And Fnatic, I mean, I was insisting they have good late game, and they do, but they they don't have any hard carry, really. Viper, Wraith King, these heroes are not going to be doing that much right-click damage in the fights without insane items, and they're only looking at mid-game items for now. It's getting tough for Fnatic, Lumi. Let's say they lose this game. How do you feel about their chances moving forward through the tournament? I guess the one thing worth mentioning is I feel like they've had some pretty pretty tough competition thus far. They've already had to play Na'Vi. They beat them. They beat DK, who's on the rise. They actually beat Noobie as well, who's looked a bit shaky, but probably will bounce back. They lost to Team Liquid, who's looking strong. They lost to an LGD, who's rising. I feel like most of their games have been against teams that will finish towards the top 10. So I, I would agree to that, but at the same time, if... Let's Radiant's say there's tiebreaker matches to be fallen. had. Yeah. You're playing them against probably Alliance, LGD, DK, like at the attack. lower half of the bracket. These Radiant's are some of the dangerous teams. So Radiant's I would not envy their position. They have a blink though. It's not over yet for Fnatic. It looks bleak, but the black hole could turn this one. And I don't believe they've shown the blink just yet. Yeah, he's sitting back in the trees. Big Daddy does not want Vichy to get vision of this. And momentarily, we're probably going to see a smoke on the back of it. He walked towards the ward. I don't think they saw him even so. They don't give that much vision, so. We're looking like Fnatic are going to try to make a play happen with this blink dagger. Yeah. Also, Big Daddy got a tower last at the top. So, pretty decent amount of gold. But shotgun's coming in soon, so I, I think that's where... Vichy Gaming is starting to think about high ground. And he's got to catch a lot of heroes, at four to be exact. You M need to catch a Shaker, you need to catch the Lich. Even the, the Ever, if he's Slight of Fissurian Chains, can cancel it. Well, if, if he hits it, which yes. could be hard. Which so. is unreliable. So I think if you catch those three, that could be it. But I think that's asking for too much, because FY is going to just stand all the way back. Yeah, he's got a blink, right? So he doesn't have to be anywhere near the fight. So, well, then we will go oh, down. They black, black hole, Siler. He's already strength morphing, though. Even with the Scarabolt, will it be enough? He's silenced. Got well. They need a Doom. They need more. They do get the kill. Oh, they had to work hard for it. And Beachy Gaming, a crucial loss for them. But now they know there's no black hole to play around with for three minutes. And do they just wait for the respawn and just go for high ground on the back of that? Probably. Uh, let me check on Roshan timing. No, Roshan is can't really take advantage of that. Yeah, the black hole cooldown's really gonna hurt him. Uh, you you could notice that actually Big Daddy did not level up black hole, which basically whenever you level up black hole, the mana cost increased by a hundred, and it, it, you get better damage. But you really don't level up the black hole for damage. You level up for the. Oh, 
cooldown. The 10 seconds. Yeah, mainly just for the cooldown. Which at this point, I think mana is a little bit more. You don't sure. level it up until late game. Yeah. Generally, it's an enigma. I think it's it's certainly the right choice here when he's the mech carrier, where mana will become a bit of an issue. Well, on the back of that, Fnatic gets some more items. They pick up a BKB on Viper. Important versus the shotgun, I think that's the main hero that he's got to be worried about. It also means he can just run at the Earthshaker. So, oh, RTK now, about to get caught. He's been doomed. FY's here. He'll Fissure block Trixie, and then the creeps come in as well. The wow. creeps are on their side, and Trixie's got a TP out. That's one of those, wasn't counting on it, but it looks really impressive, Fissures. Intended. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I think the BKB is actually pretty big on Viper. Normally, Viper shouldn't build BKB because he really wants like a, a Agonims to do more damage output, but you need to survive against this Shaker, Venom, as well as Lich. And honestly, if you look at the physical raw right-click damage of Vichy Gaming, they don't really have too much of that. They are going to try to go on the Morphly top, but he's got a Replicate sitting bottom, and it's going to take a lot to bring him down. They dropped the Skyra Bolt, so they have the burst damage. Oh, he got the Strength Morph off, and... Well, now the Ethereal Blade goes through as well. He can replicate down to the bottom lane where there's some high ground attempt being made by Vichy Gaming. Well, the Morphling going to be joining them fairly soon. The Illusion's in the jungle. He's a bit low on HP is the one issue. And now Hani makes his move. He pops the BKB, but once again, FY frustrates Fnatic with the Fissure. And they will be driven back. This guy, too much. The positioning's really been there for him. They do break the Lincoln Sphere of Silar. Well, I think the slow stage is happening right now. This is where the the, the Plague War gets much, much better. Also, uh, Raul TK does have that gem, so looking to pop off any rogue wards. Vichy Gaming says, we can't break it now. No problem, we'll come back in a bit. Because uh, Morphling is getting stronger and stronger. We can see how difficult it is to kill him because he ate a full Mystic Flare with Ancient Seal on top of that, a couple of Arcane Bolts, a Hellfire Blast, and right clicks and just strike it off. So, so it, that's where the Lincoln Sphere comes in handy because if you start strength morphing before your silence, you keep on going and you have to break the Lincoln's first. So as if as long as you're ready to press the button and you do it quickly enough, you really can't stop him from getting it off. And you should always be ready to press that button. And it's a LAN environment as well yeah. where your reactions can be, your instantaneous real life reaction can translate in game. And well, it's only a one button press, but you've got to be quick and Silar certainly was there. Well, Fnatic looking for yet another smoke gank. They will rotate mid and find themselves ROTK, but last time they jumped on him, it was it was a, a trap card moment. Let's see if uh, ROTK could provide the same for the team, but... The good news is Fnatic have all their cooldowns, Lumi. They've got the double BKB as well. Can they take this fight in the pit? Well, are they even going to realize what's going on? Probably not. And that's a free Aegis. Do you put that on Super? Hmm. I feel Silar's the tougher kill, but he's also the more important hero at this stage, so it's a tough one. Super is making a slot for it, so I'm guessing it's super. That's a, that's a cheating way, but no, it's a juke. <laughs> Silar, he picks it up. It's Silar, I guess, is the other way to look at it. He he always gets the H. That's man. true. Uh, and obviously, that, that's going to allow him to stay at one strength if he wants and, and maximize that shotgun. Yeah, which for now, he's sitting on the bonus 10, but... Pretty much no extra strain. You know, a lot of morphing out there is when they shake get the shotgun, they actually play it much more aggressive. Like make a replicate, uh, hang back, or sorry, make make the replicate hang back and start to roam around the map and start looking for pickoff. But Silo just says, man, I, I got this dangerous shotgun. I'm gonna farm, and it, should anybody come gank me, I'm gonna just kill them and go back to farming. That's what I'm talking about. Silar, even if even if it's not a Morphling who is a pretty traditional hard carry, but even if it's like a you know some some other sort of hero like an Invoker, a Life Stealer, uh, a Weaver, he still does the same thing. He just plays for late game, man. almost every game. I think it's something teams have exploited as well in the past, where he's not coming to fight, so you just run Vici over before they can create space if you have the stronger mid game lineup. That's how a lot of the other Chinese teams have punished them, but well, if he gets his space, you are going to struggle a lot. This game, though, he's definitely came to the fights. He's been roaming around with this team, he went to the top lane, uh, he's died a couple times as a result, but I think this game is showing a true example of how to play his particular style of carry, where he joins a fight, still gets a big number on farms, and his, his illusion right now is smoked up with his team, Looking for a smoke gank, but not really finding too much of anything. <laughs> <laughs> just, just casual drive by through the Fnatic uh, tier one ruins, and well, they're disappointed by what they find. Yeah. Meanwhile, it looks like Fnatic looking for a pickoff themselves. 
not finding too much of anything. And I think this is going to be a push coming out here for uh, Vichy Gaming. Well, Fnatic have held on to high ground, Lumi. And considering the way the game's developed, I have to say that in, an, in and of itself is an accomplishment. But well, this they, next push will be tougher. Yeah, this one, Silar has Aegis. He has the complete shotgun. I, I would actually see him go up the ramp aggressively and start mowing down, maybe on fly, for example. Just give him a shotgun, see how he They have him. enough lockdown, I think, to kill all of them, but it's got to be used right. They kept the, the Skyrath Silence, the Black Hole, as well as the Doom. That is basically three long-duration lockdown spells to deal with the Embers 1 life and the Morphling's 2, but you can't just catch them because there's ways to cancel that Black Hole, so they've got to do it just right. See if they can. Let's see if they can find the openings. And the thing, the thing that makes this frustrating for Fnatic is the Ember. He just keeps on. He doesn't kill towers, but he's great at zoning you off of your own towers. We see just con consistent sleight of fist spam, forcing Fnatic into a very spread and defensive formation. I almost wonder if they should go for a backstab. Mm, trying to run around. They, I don't think they have time for the backstab. They kind of just have to sit here and hold because there's a tier three. The glyph was three seconds off, and they didn't have one. They want now shotgun. Big Daddy out of the fight. Instantly killed off by Silar. They break the Lincolns, and they can doom him, but he's got Aegis. Not the hero they want. They'll bring him down once with the Skyrath ultimate. He falls, and now they have Doom reserved, and they'll let it fly on a super, which means Morphling is free to reign in this fight. He blows up Trixie, adaptives him down, and now can look for more. Grabs the gem, looks to retreat. It's going pretty well, all things considered. The super Ember has been out of the fight for some time, but now Era Black is hole. isolated, and Big Daddy, he jumps in, but he's denied by Fenrir. Then FY slams it home. Beautiful Echo. It looks so good for Big Daddy, but Lumi, it was always going to be hard against this lineup. And that's the second live multiple buyback has been used. Silent looking at high ground, got Wayform going forward here. FY stuns one, gets another. Hani's going to get brought down as well. That's a buyback from Era, but I think it's off or not. He's going to get one kill on the Ember Spirit, but a pyrrhic victory as Vichy Gaming cleans up everything. A little bit of last armlet toggle. That's going to be the first lane of Rax. And I imagine that GG should be soon, very, very soon. coming soon. What great support play this game. Fenrir, excellent position in that fight. FY, excellent fissures all game long. And frankly, if you're Silar, Super, and RTK, you're just thinking, man, these guys make it easy to play a core role. They, it was definitely a team effort, but just fantastic teamwork from VG Gaming. They'll take this game, and, and as the second lane of Rex falls, they look forward to being 6-1, and one, nearly halfway through their group stage. And well on top of the groups. You now coming into TI4, it's the DKs, it's the IGs, it's the Lions, but the old vanguards of China, you could call it ROTK, man. You know RTK pulled a shoulder playing ping pong the other day? He went, he goes hard. Well, he goes harder in game. And uh, they are 6-1 and one, like you said. Whew. And the struggle continues for Fnatic. They started off so well and now they're descending. I wouldn't say all the way to the bottom, they can bounce back, but it's going to be a tough road. I think their saving grace is that they've had a tougher schedule than some of these other teams near the top, but 